from our government, we will drive out the globalists, we will cast out the communists, Marxists and fascists, we will throw off the sick political class that hates our country, we will rout the fake news media, and we will liberate America from these villains once and for all. Before we go too far, I've got something to tell you. In days, what, what's your thoughts? Oh man, that's a big question. What's Trump? I don't think it's going to surprise anyone who I vote for. Well, so. I mean, I, I, I'm going to just, I'm going to guess, yeah, yeah, I'm going to guess, uh, Trump. Trump. Is that a bad guess? I think it's a pretty good guess. Well, what do you think the world will be like uh, in a second, a second uh, term? With with President with a President Trump second term? A lot of people I, are, I, I know what it'll be like if we let her in. Yeah. Oh, really? And that ain't good. Yeah. Well, Miser this miserable track record, right, right. appalling right. track record, no. no policies to speak yeah. of. Yeah, and the border, right? And she's got the IQ of a fence post. <laughs> Everyone has heard President Trump's signature phrase, drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. His instinct is spot on. The problem is that in Washington, it's not just about a few corrupt individuals. It's a whole crooked system. It's the federal agencies, it's the lobbyists, it's the think tanks and research organizations. It's the university and the academic groups and the media. And it's the corporations that have captured these agencies and turned them into sock puppets for the industries they're supposed to regulate. Well, I've spent 40 years suing almost all of these agencies and many of the industries. And I know the names in many of these agencies of the bad actors who need to be moved out. I understand the perverse incentives that put agency capture on steroids. I know how this system is supposed to work to protect the public interest and how it actually works to protect the mercantile interests of the regulated industries that have captured it. And I know how to fix it. When you sue an agency, you get a PhD in corporate capture and how to unravel it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with Donald Trump's backing. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to appoint honest officials who don't have conflicts of interest. We're going to listen to whistleblowers and act on their revelations. We're going to slam shut the revolving door that sends industry executives and lobbyists in and out of government. We're going to fire anyone who betrays the public trust or lies to the public. And we're going to prohibit federal agencies from using their powers to harass political opponents. That's what it means to drain the swamp. One of my priorities in Washington will be to make sure that President Trump can follow through on his promise and return us to a government of the people and to make America healthy again. This is true. I'm going to cut your taxes. I gave you the biggest tax cut in the history of our country and the biggest regulation cuts in the history, and we're going to cut him further. Good morning, everyone. It is October 25th, 2024. So we're gonna pull some cards and just randomly see what the message is for today and everything that's going on right now, uh, not only politically, but just in your personal lives. 
So for the collective for October 25th, 2024, let's take a look. I've got my cards. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's pull some cards. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Here we go. General message for October 25th, 2024. All right, so already, I'm already getting, I'm already getting that there is going to be, and we predicted this yesterday as well, there's going to be some tremendous groundbreaking news, something that we're going to hear, it's breakthrough information. Um, and I also feel that it is possibly about Kamala or someone on the other side of, of the fence here. So they're gonna become very defensive all right, then we have the Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing the word treason. I'm hearing the word um, also stealing. So they're going to prove the stealing of the uh, 2020 election, okay? So that may or may not happen and be the breakthrough information, but I think that's where it's gonna lead to. There's break, breakthrough information coming through in these next few days here. Um, but then it's going to lead into the um, definite definite proof about the 2020 election. Okay, so here we go. We have the Five of Cups coming through now. I hope you guys can see that. Not five of Cups. We have the Empress. We also have the Eight of Wands. This is good stuff. All right, so this is speaking to all of us about our abundance. I'm hearing the word abundance. I'm hearing we're going to hear more communication about this. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I did a crystal ball reading last night about no income taxes. All right, so that's going to tie in. It's already, the, the seeds have already been planted. Trump spoke it also in the Vegas rally last night. I stayed up to watch that. <laughs> so he spoke that last night at the Vegas rally. You guys saw it in my intro clip of that video in the intro. Um, so here we go again, the loss and the going away of the taxes. Okay, five of cups. The Empress bringing abundance to people. Eight of wands, this communication is coming through. So there's gonna be more talk about this. This is going to it's going to basically go viral. I mean, everyone's going to be talking about this. They already are, I think. I don't know. I haven't been looking around on other platforms. But with this Eight of Wands, it's going to spread very fast. It's going to definitely anyone who was not on board with the Trump team and, you know, whoever wasn't on board of being mega, they're going to now. They're definitely going to be now. Um, then we have the Five of Wands. All right, so there's gonna be some inner, there's turmoil here. Let's see what this is about. We have the devil card here, yes. Okay, so this does have to do with the other side. Like I said earlier, there's a breakthrough of information, something shocking, something that's gonna make a lot of waves. We saw this yesterday in the reading too. This is revolving around the dark side, okay? The evil uh, demoncrats. All of their conniving, stealing, um, hurting the people on purpose for years, all of that is coming to light. All of the setups, like the 9-11 setup, all of it, that's all coming to me right now as well. All of it is coming to the surface. They're going to unravel this, okay? Twitter files as well, all of it. All of the stuff that we've been waiting for is coming. The dark is definitely gonna be wiped out. That's what this is all about. Remember, it's a spiritual warfare and the light is suffocating the dark. This is happening. It's right here. And it's been in the messages, spiritual messages for quite some time now. Okay, so let's see what else we get. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Reassurance from Spirit. Ten of Pentacles, celebration. Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, it is the end of the IR, uh, the other letter too, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is the end of that, all right? Celebration and completion for the people. Ten of Pentacles, more abundance. That Empress too, she brings us abundance. She's a messenger, a messenger of abundance as well. So this is great news, you guys. Um, so don't worry. 
don't worry about all that that stuff uh and we, i know i've been telling you and i know some other people as well influencers too um you don't have to pay them <laughs> because it's all going to be wiped out your debt's going to be wiped out and i'm going to clarify that right now so will debt be wiped out completely i'm talking mortgages i'm talking credit cards all of that stuff here we go okay wow queen of wands so the queen of wands i wonder if you guys could see her there she is that's that's sagittarius energy as well we have the aries fool card new beginnings we're all gonna have a clean slate this card as soon as i see it usually it's new beginnings automatically but i just heard clean slate so the people will have a clean slate financially you will not be burdened by these debts that you that you are frustrated about okay because it's all been a scam so there you go wow all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear this and i'm going to pull another set of cards just a message for all of us what else what else would like to come through from spirit what else would you like to share with us today what do we need to know October 25th, 2024. King of Cups. Four of Wands. Unity. Unity. Love. Going back to... This is... A, okay, this is about our morals. Going back to beliefs. Whatever you believe in. Whatever faith you have. Believe in that. Hold strong to your faith. Unite with those that you love. Put differences aside. So this is about unity and love and peace for all, for everyone. And that's the only way to peace, love, and happiness is if we come together, differences aside. Here we go. Queen of Cups. Ooh, two at once. We have the Pisces Moon card and we have the Strength card. This is gorgeous. I mean, these cards, uh, not to just... <laughs> toot my own horn here but my cards are gorgeous and uh, this is definite definite proof here so love nurturing nurture your relationships I know I say this often but it's coming through again spirit wants us to show more gratitude to those that we love and come together differences aside like we need to we need to come together they've tried to divide us for so long especially the past few years the division has got to stop and it will, it definitely will. Especially as we move in towards the end of the year, this queen of cups is water energy too. So we're in Scorpio, we're in a water sign right now. Um, but this is beautiful to see, we have Pisces. So our intuition, our expanding of consciousness as a collective, do you know how powerful that is? It's happening more and more people are waking up every single day it's beautiful success and victory eight of cups leaving behind the old systems the old structures remember that the pluto capricorn this is the last time that they intertwine in our lifetimes okay but it's also structures so old structures falling apart falling away that's that's right here too so it's all going away, the stru old structures, the financial system, all of it. And um, if you didn't see the crystal ball reading I did late last night, go take a look at it. It was pretty magical. I was having visions of New York City back in the day, a long, long time ago. And not only the financial system, it's, it showed me like the stock market, it showed me just, it just showed me so much. And you guys just have to watch it, it's, it's amazing. Um, but anyways, we have success and victory for the people getting away from old structures and old, old beliefs that held us back that were on purpose to suppress us all of it. That's all going away. And then here's the page of pentacles, new hope, new intentions, clean slate. Once again, we started off here with a clean slate. We had the full card in the last spread. Remember? And now this is more about our relationships, family, unity, our beliefs, spirituality, faith bringing it all back. We have a bright future, a beautiful future, guys. So just, just wait, just hold on. <laughs> it's all happening. It's happening right now. So get excited and have a beautiful 
vision for yourself for your future. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to go to arcanashores.net if you would like to schedule a personal reading one-on-one -on -one and uh, with any questions, financial, relationships, interpersonal, whatever you have going on, you can ask anything you want. So all of my readings are available at arcanashores.net, crystal ball, tarot, express, whatever you would like. So it's all there for you. Past life regression as well. That's a big one and very powerful. But anyways, you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you Monday morning. Bye. Voting Donald Trump, baby. Donald Trump, baby. America needs saving. America.